Hi, welcome to Simply Done YouTube channel on the tutorial on Excel XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP was released by Microsoft 365 in 2019 and is meant to replace VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and index match functions. It enables users to search specific value in table or range. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use XLOOKUP to locate specific values in a column or a row or how to use filter the search result and how to use XLOOKUP with other functions like VLOOKUP and IF. By the end of this tutorial, you will have all the tools you need to XLOOKUP to automate repetitive tasks and improve your data analysis skills. So whether you are an Excel beginner or a seasoned pro, join us as we explore the power of Excel XLOOKUP. Before we begin, let me tell you guys, if you are an aspiring data analyst looking for online training and certification from prestigious universities and in collaboration with leading expert you have the most robust function skills knowledge and what it takes to be the best then search no more simply learns post graduation program in data analytics from purdue university in collaboration with ibm should be your right choice for more details use the link in the description box below also want to get access to more informative content like this one get subscribed to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon so that you are the first to know when we host with that mind, let's get started. So this is our dataset for the XLOOKUP on Excel. You can download this dataset from the description box below. So here, let's start with the XLOOKUP. So here I will like equals to XLOOKUP. So first we have to write this. This is the formula for the XLOOKUP x lookup value x lookup lookup array return array and these three are the optionals okay if not found match model and the search mode these three are the optional so the lookup value for me is the this stock number okay because only only the stock number are the common on the both you know sheets you can say so b2 comma so now we have to see the lookup array so lookup array will be over this I will press the shift down arrow okay then enter okay so here the next thing is return array so what we want to return in this particular column okay that will be the price I want to print the price yes enter. so before that what I will do, I will add, you can add the dollar sign using F4. I am here adding manually. Okay. Then dollar J, dollar 12. Why we are adding the dollar sign? For the range. Okay. Then press enter. Yeah. So, when I will drag from here to here, all the price value will become. Okay. Why NA? because this stock number is not present in the particular this sheet okay so this is how you can get the price but if you want if you want particular like the size brand and price all three what you can do you can simply drag here okay and you can add the dollar here um, or using you can add the dollar using f4 um, adding the manually press okay so as you can see we have this size we have the brand name and we have the price what I will do I will drag down okay so this is how you can you know fetch the particular value using XLOOKUP from the different different sheets this is how you can select the particular range what if you don't want all the three columns but you want the size and the price and you don't want the brand for that what you will do you will here write choose then bracket here you can, will start with the curly brackets here you will write the how many columns do you need one two three four five six okay so here i will write the i need the two columns okay then what will be your first column 
uh, I want my first column should be the price so here I will select zip I will select the price as my first column okay okay my bad I want my first column here I will add the dollar sign you can use the F4 and I want my second column should be the size okay here I will add the dollar sign Why we are adding dollar sign for the particular range for the full range of the size okay so here I will enter so I will drag down okay this is so as you can see here in the first column we have the price and the second column we have the particular size okay so this is how you can select the particular cell for the X lookup. Okay, not dragging and dropping. What you want to this and this size. Okay, how this is you can select. So now, as you can see, we are getting this NA value here. Okay, for that, what you can do, double click here. So here, I will give here comma. So here as you can see if not found okay for that what I can give the double braces and hit the enter and I will drag down so as you can see the blank space because we haven't wrote here something okay so here I will write the no match enter okay I will write here no match enter then I will drag it down then as you can see here we have the custom value now no match so this is how you can uh, fill the blank space or the not matching values from your custom values so this is how you can use the X lookup but here we are using in a particular single sheet you can add the multiple sheet and you can same way you can use the x lookup as we did in the this sheet that's how you use x lookup if you have any queries regarding x lookup you can comment down below our team of expert will help you as soon as possible till then thank you hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here